So listen, uh, I actually need you to go to the office today. What do you want me to do? All you have to do is sign out some boxes, do a little bit of shredding, meet oh, some lovely what? guys. It's not a big deal, Greg. When Tom asks Greg to shred these documents, I'm in this phase uh, as a worker where I'm like, do, just do anything they say. So I need to do the job. I'm extremely scared. I know this could be the end of me, but if I get through this, maybe I get like a sweet bonus or maybe I get upped like to another position. It's tough, but somebody's gotta do it. Tom gets Greg to go and shred the evidence. But we find out that Greg has a little insurance policy, which is quite smart of him. It's a really funny and interesting storyline to play. Well done. I don't wanna know. Don't ever tell me. Well done. Marsha organizes this big Thanksgiving dinner to everybody. She invites other members of the family, some people from the firm itself, to come as well and to be part of this day because she wants to create the ideal family that this family should be, really, that they're not. Please, go ahead. We're eating family style. Family style. Hmm. Well, almost like we're a family. Families are fascinating, I think. If you dig deep enough into the surface picture of any family, there's relationships that have gone wrong, screwed up, familial relationships. Creatively, it's a gift that keeps giving. Like Logan and his elder brother, they don't get on at all. We have a Thanksgiving evening when he, he meets his brother again, who he doesn't really speak to, and there's a sort of clash there. This whole family is a nest of vipers. They'll wrap themselves around you, and they'll suffocate you. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that's boa constrictors. They digest other people, but of course they're all, they're all connected to each other and so they have to turn on themselves because there's really basically nobody else to turn on. Rava has to detach herself from their dysfunction because there's so much of it. Get in there. Now! Logan, we have Iverson. She has very clear boundaries about how she's gonna raise her son. And Logan has very different ideas. Go! Hey! What the fuck are you doing? I hardly touch him, it's just shock. And I think Kendall realizes that his dad might not be the best person to listen to. I think the question of the show will be, does Kendall become someone like his father, or will he become his own man and walk away from that kind of ethic? I find that sort of radically interesting.